Hi guys, this is Svetlana and welcome back to my channel. Today is a fun video. I'm going to show you how my stepdad and I are going to be making homemade moonshine. According to the Russian Federation's law, it is now legal to make the moonshine at home for your personal use only. You are allowed to make it, but you're not allowed to sell it. So I'm going to show you the process step by step. I'm going to show you how we make it. Well, actually, my stepdad is going to be making it and I will just join the process and show it to you step by step. It will be my second time participating in the moonshine making, but this time it will be a little bit different because my stepdad got a new uh, moonshine making machine, which he's so excited about. By the way, this is not an instruction of how to make moonshine. This is just how we make it at home step by step. So let's begin. This is the first main ingredient for moonshine and normally you should use sugar, but this is dextrose. Since there is a shortage of sugar in the stores, probably because everybody's making the moonshine at home and uh, he got the dextrose instead, which should be the same and it will not affect the quality of the moonshine, except this is a little bit more expensive than the sugar. And this is the second ingredient for the moonshine. This is a pack of yeast and you need one pack of yeast for one big bucket like this. So for one bucket of moonshine, you will need one bag of yeast and two bags of destros. And this is for another bucket. So first we fill buckets with water and measure its temperature. The water in the bucket when you begin putting sugar and yeast inside should be at least 35 degrees Celsius. Then we pour 7 kilograms of dextrose into a bucket and stir it very well so that it dissolves completely. Then we do the same with the second bucket. Next, we mix one bag of yeast with water to make it easier to stir in the buckets. Here, it is very important to mix the yeast very well so that there are no lumps. The yeast is what will eat up all the sugar content and turn it into alcohol. Then again, we mix it all together in our fermentation buckets. And by the way, guys, this <laughs> is a shoehorn, but it's clean, of course. So now we got this mash, which in Russia we call braga. We close it with the lid and leave it for an hour. The second one looks like a pie, isn't it? After that, we stir it one more time and leave it to ferment for a few days at 30 degrees Celsius. We keep our buckets with Braga by the radiator because the yeast likes it warm and moist. Three days later, we open the buckets again to stir our Braga, then leave it to ferment in total for two weeks, stirring it occasionally. Two weeks later, we finally open our Braga, stir it once again and prepare it for distillation. All right, the first part of the moonshine is ready. Now it's time to move it from this bucket into this thing. That's where it will be boiled. 
and then move it to the little heating plate and cook it. After my stepdad installed this complicated construction on the stove, the most exciting part begins. Now we need to distill our braga and separate all the alcohol content into a purified form. The temperature at which the braga is distilled should be from 72 to 82 degrees Celsius. It takes about 2.5 to 3 hours to completely fill a 3 liter jar. In general, making moonshine is a very long and time-consuming process. It takes about 9 to 10 hours to get only 10 liters of moonshine. My stepdad also uses a two-step distillation process, where he dilutes the produced alcohol after the first distillation to a 20% strength and distills it one more time. Therefore, you get a total of 15 liters of homemade moonshine from two 30-liter buckets of Braga. And finally, this is the last part of making the best homemade moonshine ever. We need to strain it with charcoal. My stepdad uses the coconut charcoal. He told me to be sure to tell you about it. And I did. So, we're adding now 3 tablespoons of coconut charcoal to each 3 liter jar. It's necessary in order to remove the fusel oils from our moonshine, which give it an unpleasant smell, spoil the taste and cause a hangover. So, we leave it like this for 24 hours and tomorrow we will filter it to get rid of the charcoal. Besides the original moonshine, my stepdad also likes to infuse it with different fruits, berries, nuts and other stuff like this. And once he even made Hennessy, but unfortunately it stayed off camera. This filtered jar with moonshine is gonna be with strawberry, dried strawberry. And it's gonna take 10 days for it to stay like that, absorb everything and it's gonna be strawberry moonshine. The second jar is almost ready and this one will be with prunes and dried apricots. Hello again! So this is my final dinner in Surgut and I'm going back to St. Petersburg tonight. And it's time to try uh, our moonshine. How did it turn out? This is my stepdad, Bayram. <laughs> and uh, we're just having a simple dinner and uh, we're gonna try the moonshine. So let's do this. I'm not excited about this. I'm only doing it for the video. Normally, I don't drink moonshine. And it is uh, 42 degrees. Ну давай. Сейчас ее укутите. Спасибо. Маме, Соня, привет. Капусту. So I hated it, which means it's a really, really good one shine. Very, very good. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're gonna complete our dinner and in a couple of hours we're gonna go to the airport. So thank you for watching this video, thank you for joining me, thank you for spending my uh, nice vacation in Surbut and I will see you in my next videos. Bye! Еще по одной дальше. I guess I have to do one more. Давай. Это можно закусить что-нибудь. Все. За здоровье.